2019 BMW X7 Car Review. The X7S styling is unsurprisingly comparable to its smaller X5 siblings, despite an increase in every exterior dimension except width. It's a substantial machine, measuring nearly 17 feet long, so that it is 9 inches over the X5 and 1.3 inches over the GLS 450. Its colossal kidney grille enlarges the X7S nose to emergency rhinoplasty proportions. At least for the present time, the X7 can have the same drivetrain lineup because the X5, with two engine options sending torque to every one four wheels. The X Drive 40i will depend on the free spinning, 335 horsepower turbocharged 3.0 liter Inlinesics that appears over the BMW portfolio. Even when tasked with moving greater than 5,000 pounds, just as this application, the engine works wonderfully. But it is America, so a 456 horsepower twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 offers the muscle from the X Drive 50i. Its plateau of 479 pound feet of torque starts way down at 1,500 revolutions per minute and extends all the way to 4,750. We expect the sprint to 60 miles per hour to adopt a short 4.6 seconds if your X7 has the V8 as well as a still respectable 5.5 seconds with all the 6 cylinder. BMW's burly quad turbo diesel inline Isics won't allow it to be stateside, but American tuggers with either engine and also the factory installed hitch should chose the 7500 pound tow S adequate nonetheless. Predictably, ZF's glorious 8 horsepower transmission handles gear swaps. This 8 speed automatic is not sleepy, providing quick shifts whether thinking for itself or in the command on the wheel mounted paddles. The X7 shares BMW's new expandable modular car platform with everything through the X5 on the new G23 series. Many in the suspension parts are shared while using X5 albeit with X7-specific bushing tuning. The front and rear multi-link units are held by standard adaptive dampers and air springs on both models. Even about the optional 22-inch wheels, the ride is common in every four-drive mode sport, comfort, eco-pro, and adaptive, mostly. Sharp impacts still occasionally make their way into the cabin. Something BMW's chassis specialists have to say is purely this product of wheel size, hardly surprising vehicle this girthy with standard 21s. BMW is quick to trumpet the X7S off-road shops. The off-road package provided with either engine provides modest underbody protection, a limited slip rear differential clutch type on 40i trims, electronically controlled around the 50i and 4 ride height and stability control altering X off-road modes X sand, X rocks, X gravel, and X snow. For the paved parts with the world likely to be the X7S domain, the Ute is available while using dynamic handling package. It adds larger brakes, rear wheel steering, active anti-roll bars, and, on V8 models, the electronically controlled rear differential. The M Sport package is much more of a visual enhancement, replacing the outside chrome with black trim and being fashionable the interior by having an M Sport steering wheel and also a Fox Suite headliner, although it does will include a throatier exhaust. While that sounds great, we'll have to consider BMW's word for doing this until we can easily drive one elsewhere. On the roads carefully selected by BMW with this first drive, we never really have got to test Naliki's assertion how the X7 handles what sort of BMW should. This encounter contained long stretches on South Carolina's toll-on roads and flat interstates where, at freeway speeds, the behemoth at the least managed never to list such as SS Edmund Fitzgerald, even though its variable ratio steering felt slightly overboosted in low-speed driving. The X7 moves from traditional vacuum-assisted brakes, 
instead using Continental's break the wire system to provide linear pedal feel. But do buyers these things mind about vehicle dynamics? This is a luxury SUV that creeps eerily around 3 tons when heavily yes, we did that option. Our 400 miles from the X7 vanished as though they were a daydream, on account of a quiet and comfy cockpit and available massaging seats. Should the serene environs become too calming, an infrared camera that monitors the driver's state of alertness will state the car to beep at you. Lane departure warning, front and rear collision detection, and blind spot monitoring are standard on both models. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go and land keeping assist are optional within the X Drive 40i and standard around the X Drive 50i. The dynamic handling package offers one pretty neat trick, however, its active anti roll bars couple with predictive driving technologies to further improve the overall driving experience. Using the navigation system that lies ahead. The technology can watch the chassis for winding roads by stiffening things up. Also, the X7S cameras help enable a smoother ride using the active anterior bars and adaptive dampers to avoid the wheels from dropping into road craters. The X7S interior offers some of BMW's work best yet. The large windshield and sensibly sized pillars produce an expansive forward view. For a price, the top cup holders is usually heated and cooled, virtually any surface might be covered in leather, as well as the shifter as well as other controls could be specked in glass. Even the plastics feel a notch higher than the competitions. The 12.3 inch infotainment screen renders crisp images and is also easy to operate by using a finger within the touch screen or with all the familiar eye drive control knob. We're not fans on the opposing swings in the speedometer and tachometer about the digital instrument cluster, though. Fortunately, physical buttons remain to manage most tach controls. Seating options where the X7 separates itself through the X5. For the second row, a bench is standard and captain's chairs are optional, both seating systems slide fore and aft and recline. Though the X5 could be optioned using a third row, it truly fits only microhumans. The X7S additional wheelbase helps to make the difference for passenger comfort from the way back. A power tilting second row enables easy access towards the third. The cold weather package adds heated seats for everyone three rows and five zone climate control as well as an available rear seat entertainment system tax a 10.2 inch touchscreen on the back of each and every front seat, giving second row occupants something to stare at. With the third row deployed, cargo space is restricted to 12 cubic feet. However, there's ample storage below the load floor and both rows is usually folded using the push of any button within the cargo area. The X-Drive 40i starts at $74,895, a near $4,000 premium over its closest competitor, the Mercedes-Benz GLS 450. The X-Drive 50i, however, starts at $93,595, undercutting the V8-powered GLS 550 by greater than $3,000. Adding options quickly drives the retail price beyond six figures. But this big BMW's refinement, thoroughly modern interior, and sheer enormity ensure it is impossible to overlook, regardless of whether the jury remains to be out on its dynamics. One good thing about waiting 12 years to create the X7 to showcase, the Mercedes GLS is actually close towards the end of the life cycle.